Did you guys know I went to Monsters University? Hey guys, it's Holly and the day is finally here that I get to show you guys my Monster Zinc mock slash set slash ideas project. I went to town and tried to make the best looking Monster Zinc set that I could and I think I've achieved it and I'm so proud and so excited to show you guys. Please go and support it, the link is in the description. But basically, here's my Monsters Inc. mock. I'm so excited and you're going to be sick of me talking about it because I'm just going to rattle on about this until it hits 10k. So thank you! So here is the overall set and as you can see, it is a giant reconstruction of Boo's door. So in all honesty, when I was starting this project, I was looking for inspiration and I ended up finding a little mock by Pixar animator and Lego fan set designer of Wally of Boo's door, which is done to the scale of this Mike Wazowski action figure. And looking at that, I very quickly realized that if I was going to do Boo's Door, I needed it to be on a much larger scale and completely out of proportion with the figures because I wanted to have all of the detail that that door had, which is something you just could not get on a small scale. Also, I think it makes for a much better looking display piece. Like I look at this and this just looks amazing and I'd love to be able to put it on my shelf. So that's basically how the idea started. And then I was telling Ash and Flash about my plans to make this a project and kind of everything that I'd come up with. And he suggested that that I make it into a sort of Jurassic World Park type of set, like the T-Rex Rampage. So you've got kind of the main build of the set on the front and then you turn it around and you've got a bunch of little rooms kind of representing things throughout the movie. And I thought that idea was awesome and it really made sense for something like Boo's Door, but I knew I rather than doing rooms, I'd much rather make scenes from the movie, which is how this project kind of ended up happening, which I'm really glad. And I think it just summarizes the movie a lot better and makes it a lot more exciting. So up first we have our three figures. So going from left to right, we do have Mike Wazowski, which is built using those minion pieces because unfortunately with no new molds, he's got to be a bit more ovular than I probably would have liked and doesn't have his horns at the top. But I think it's a really good reincarnation using existing pieces for Mike. And he also does have a two by two tile, which is Boo's file, which is like a kind of condensed version as her file kind of spreads across two things. But I just wanted to make it like one little sheet there. And you can also see that the Boo on this little little tile has different hair to the one that's in the set and that is purely because Mecha Bricks did not have that hair piece so I had to improvise with the actual figure but this is the hair piece that I ideally do want to use for Boo. Next up we have Sully and he was definitely the most daunting and terrifying and hardest part to build of this set. I put him off for the absolute longest time. The only thing going into this that I knew I wanted to do with Sully was give him big fig arms. Besides that I honestly had no idea of what to do and honestly I started building him from his head down which I don't know if that's probably the best technique but it was the easiest technique for me as I thought definitely the top half of him was going to be a lot easier than trying to figure out the feet and the tail which I uh, yeah I was definitely correct. On the back of him as well there are some printed pieces with little purple spots to kind of give him that. That's one thing as well that this figure is missing is arm printing of the purple spots and I do plan to photoshop that on and submit it as part of an update but the only reason I didn't do that already is because I didn't want it to look out of place with the rest of the renders. And lastly we have Boo and like I said she doesn't have the right hair piece but the rest of her is absolutely perfect and something interesting about her as well is so she's got triple molded legs because of the white socks at the bottom. She also does come with a little teddy bear and I could not figure out how to put Mike Wazowski's teddy bear face onto that bear. It was too daunting so I just left the bear empty. So moving back over to the door and it is basically built exactly like the one from the movie so you do have the control panel on the left and the scream canister on the right and the scream canister is only two by two big because unfortunately three by three cylindrical pieces do not exist and four by four just looked way too big and out of scale. Honestly, the smaller one looked a lot better even though it does kind of look a bit too small for this build but yeah, you gotta make do. On the front of the door as well, you do have a bunch of flower pieces as well as some two by two round printed flower pieces and a gold Technic ball piece to be the little handle there. But on the back is where all the magic happens as we've got three different floors representing three very very different scenes from the movie and because of the way kind of that little door closure thing is built it made it look like the building of Monsters Incorporated itself so I did put a 2x2 Monsters Inc logo tile at the top there to kind of symbolize that yes this is the building that they go into it's kind of a little hint kind of a little easter egg so on the top we have one of the most iconic scenes from Monsters Inc and that is the ending with all of the doors in the back end of the office building so for this I've got a bunch of little 2x3 micro doors which all have the same 
print on it. They are all just different colors. And then there's a little build on there so that you can have the little red light. And I've attached them all to those bar pieces so that it looks like they're stacked up and hanging up against the wall. Then at the front on some translucent bricks, we do have a flex tube, which has Boo's door swinging from it to kind of give it a bit of action. And I really like that little detail. It looks really nice. Moving on to the middle level and we do have Mike and Sally's apartment. And one of my favorite inclusions for this is the little TV, which of course shows the Monsters Inc. advertisement where Mike's face is covered by the logo. I thought that was really cool and is a really nice printed element. And the rest of the apartment, I'm really proud of how this looks as well. You've got the metal beam at the top, the fireplace, and of course, Sully's chair, which he does end up making a costume for Boo out of. And on the bottom level, we have a pretty essential scene to Monsters Inc., which honestly, I think gets forgotten about, and that is Harry Housen's. And of course, we have the octopus sushi chef here, which I'm really proud of this build. And honestly, it's what gave me the inspiration to kind of continue going. It was one of the first things I built once I'd finished the door, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. And because of the pieces I used for the tentacles as well, you can stick accessories in there. So I gave him a knife and a kind of cleaver axe thing. And then at the bottom, there is a white gem. As if you look closely at the octopus in the movie, he does have a bandage on the end of his tentacle, which is what that gem is supposed to represent. At the front as well, you do have a printed sushi board piece and you've got two glasses. And then at the back so that this entire room didn't look pink, I did put some six by six dark orange tiles in just to kind of tie it all together and make it look better. So that is the entirety of the set. And at the front as well, you can see one last little Easter egg and that is a recolored soccer ball piece meant to look like the Luxo ball, which is such a big part of Pixar, but is also one of Boo's toys in her room. So I thought that was a really nice inclusion for that. And I'm so proud of this project. I can't express to you how happy I am and how excited I am to share this with you guys. It's been something that I've wanted to do for a really long time. I rattle on about how much I want Disney sets with minifigures so badly. So when I thought about doing a Monsters Inc. mock, I thought, you know what, let's make this good enough for ideas. And I'm so happy with how it turned out. It was a lot of fun building. It really challenged me, which I think was a really good thing. I definitely surprised myself with this set as well in how it turned out, which is absolutely amazing. So the project did go live on Lego Ideas last night and I didn't have this video ready, so I'm very sorry. And thank you to the 78 people who have already supported it, especially since I haven't talked about this besides the community tab for my members. So that absolutely blows my mind and thank you so much. And if you do really want to support this project, I will leave the link in the description and please support it. I really want this to get to 10K, especially by the next review stage, which I believe shuts off in either April or May. So yeah, this is a bit ambitious, but I want to try and do it. And I'm going to campaign this set until the day I die. So you might get sick of seeing it, but I will be sure to update things. I really want to try and make Randall and Roz and I feel like those would be really cool updates. And like I said, add arm printing to Sully and kind of show you what that would be like as well. So go tell your mom, go tell your grandma, go tell your dad, brothers, sisters, neighbors, goldfish to support my project, please. I really, really want this to hit 10K. I also feel like that would give me a giant boost of self-confidence considering how much I like talk myself down on my mock and building skills. So please inflate my ego by supporting this set. Thank you. I hope you guys enjoy this set. And if you enjoyed it and enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel down below and be sure to support the project like I've rattled on about for the last two minutes. Thank you guys so much for watching and for supporting me and I'll see you later.